Praise the Lord and hallelujah. Papa, I thank you so much for today too. I bless you. I worship you and adore you. Oh Lord, I give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for the gift of another beautiful day. And thank you for all that you do, my Lord, for your children. Today I bless you so much for giving us opportunity to go to listen to your word. Spirit of God, we surrender ourselves unto you and we pray that you have your way. Please speak to us, O oh God, <clears throat> so that we'll know you better even as we wait for your second coming. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? We'll take our devotional reading from Joshua chapter 1, the verses 5 to 9, Joshua 1, 5 to 9. And it reads, No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live, for I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will not fail you or abandon you. Hey, these are the words coming from a great God, from our Lord God Almighty, the one who created the earth, the one who has the whole world, in his hands he is telling us this and this was this is he spoke to joshua concerning how he would be with him when joshua took over or took after moses and i believe as christians as children of god this is what the lord is telling us too that if we only abide in him if we we'll only trust and rely on him, no one will stand against us. No one will stand before us. As he was with Moses, so he will be with us. Especially if you, you are a leader and you are almost giving up. The Lord says, no, do not give up because he will not abandon you. He will not leave you. He continues to say, be strong and courageous, for you are the one who will lead these people to the promise. The people to possess all the land I swore to their ancestors. Hallelujah. So we see that God is reassuring Joshua. If you are told be strong and courageous. It means that on the way, you will face something fierce or you will face difficulties. The Lord is saying to him, be strong and courageous. So that when he gets to that time, he will not lose hope. In the same way as Christians, as we grow in the Lord, we will face persecutions, we will face trials, we will face temptation, we will face so many things, hardships, troubles. Why? Because we've chosen to work with the Lord. So this word is for all of us. We should be strong and courageous. And he said that you are going to lead my people to possess all the land that I told Moses that I will give to my people. So it is not a small battle. Yes. But the Lord was assuring him that he is going to fight the battle for them. Be strong and very courageous. He has repeated it. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them. Turning either to the right or to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night. So you will be sure to know everything written in it. Only then, only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. So, brethren in the Lord, we see here that if we can, we can take the word of God to be our daily manual or our daily guide. 
if we study the word as it's saying, study this book of instruction. Our book of instruction is the word of God as Christians. So as we study it, we the Lord empowers us, the Lord reveals himself unto us and says that if we do that, we'll prosper and succeed in all we do because it is the word of God. This is my command, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Oh, brethren in the Lord, do you believe that? It does not matter what you are going through. It does not matter at all. We serve a God who is too big, who is almighty, who is bigger than the problems we see or we go through. God bless you for relying on him and he will surely make all that he said concerning us come to pass. God bless you. Share the word. Let others also be encouraged. Tell them that God says, be strong and courageous. Have a fruitful day. God bless you. Bye-bye.